Hi you guys! Today I'm going to show you what to do if Siri is not working on your iPhone. So have your phone on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your Bluetooth is off and not connected to any headphones or speakers or anything. To do this, you're going to go into your settings and into your Bluetooth and you can either turn your Bluetooth right off or if you are connected to something, for example, if I was connected to my AirPods, I would just go to the little information icon in the on the right hand side and I can forget this device. When I forget the device, it's just not going to automatically connect and I'll have to manually go back in and connect. The next thing you'll want to do is make sure that Siri is actually running in your phone or that it's enabled. To check this, you're going to want to open up your settings, scroll down to Siri and search, and you can go in to all of these settings to make sure they are on. So when you go through, you can make sure that all of these little icons are turned on here. Make sure the listen for Siri or Hey Siri is on. If you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. This helps the channel to grow and for us to reach a larger audience. Thanks so much and let's get back to the video. If your Siri is enabled and on and everything sh looks like it should be working, but it still isn't, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is restart your phone. And to do this, you're just going to hold the power button on the side as well as the volume button. When you press and hold, the slide to power off is going to come up. You'll just slide to the right and it's going to power off. You'll turn it back on. Hopefully it's working by then. The last step you would want to do is check to make sure that your microphone is working. Often your microphone can be full of debris or something else that are stuck in the bottom here. It would be smart to clean it out, but try not to use any compressed air. Definitely don't use any water, but I would use trusted sources and definitely search a tutorial on how to do it or even take it into Apple to have them check it out for you. You can cause damage to your iPhone by cleaning it yourself. So um, as a very last resort, it might be time to go in and have your microphone replaced or your phone replaced. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful and that you can use this information. Maybe pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and I will see you guys in the next video.